welcome back to my channel. For today's video I wanted to do something a little bit different than usual. I wanted to talk about my favorite artists, specifically here on YouTube. So I was thinking about making this into a series where I share with you my favorite artists and why I like them, what about them inspires me and why I keep watching them on YouTube and on other social medias and I think it would be a really nice like series to have. You can find new artists or just be remembered that hey this artist exists and you guys can also share in the comments down below your favorite artists and I can maybe find new artists and we can have this like nice exchange. Now I want to do this in various editions and today's edition is going to be the YouTube edition where I talk about the artists that inspire me the most here on YouTube. Now I do want to preface this by saying that I follow many many artists here on YouTube, on Instagram. I just follow a lot of artists so I'm not going to get into them and I'm going to be focusing mainly on the artists that I follow so deeply that as soon as they post I'm on it like a hawk. I want to like watch them over and over again and if they made content every single day of the week I would watch it every single day of the week. So it's more kind of that type of, of channel that I'm going to be mentioning. My favorite of all favorites, but that doesn't mean that I don't follow a bunch of other artists and that they aren't good either. It's just some artists right now speak to me more than others. And I know that like in six months, this list is going to change because it changes. Sometimes you like watching one type of content, other times you like watching another type of content, and that is completely fine. Another thing I want to mention is these artists that I'm going to be talking about, they're not in any specific order, okay? I, I just randomly started writing down all the artists and it that's it. I, I, they're, it's not a top 10, you know? It's not like a chart or anything, so... Yeah, so first off we have Jess Carp. Now if you don't know Jess, you're really really missing out. She's an amazing girl and she's just an, so inspiring and lighthearted and it's all sunshine with her and she really inspires me to do more, to practice more and to be more thoughtful and mindful of my art. Um, she's just so inspiring, it, she literally is an inspiration to me and I love watching her content no matter what she creates. Now as you can see, she has amazing videos, various types of videos, she does mainly studio vlog type things, but she also creates a bunch of other things. She has challenges, reviews, she paints in her sketchbook, she does plein air painting. She does it all, honestly, and her content is always so nice and brightening and inspiring, and I really love watching her content. She is also mad skilled. She has amazing skills in everything she picks up, and I love seeing how she explores things, and it makes me want to be a bit more skilled in everything I do as well and maybe sketch with more of a purpose instead of mindlessly sketching all the time. And so she's very inspiring to me and I love her content for it. Next up we have the one and only Little Star Nerd. Now Al is an amazing artist. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely have to check her out. She works in a lot of mediums, especially Copics and gouache, but she experiments with a lot of stuff. She has this series that is called the Make It Gay series, which a lot of people know her from. It's amazing. She turns Renaissance paintings into gay paintings, basically, like with just a heteronormative couples, and she turns them into gay couples or LGBTQ couples. And it's amazing. I love her art. I love her skill. One thing that really attracted to me to her is her sketchbooks. Like, her sketchbooks are so inspiring. They're amazing. She experiments a lot. She's very creative. Her portraiture is on point. Her portraiture is one of the most amazing like i i love it i love it so much it's indescribable and she's very talented she's very raw as well like she tells you things how they are and i like that about her she's so genuine and honestly just her and it's amazing she also has a podcast recently it's uh make art don't starve and it's also very nice i've also been listening to it just a little extra there next up we have an all-time fave of mine i've been following her for so so long and she's one of the og youtubers bailey j now if you don't know bailey j she's an amazing 
amazing content creator youtuber artist she creates a lot of different stuff but recently she's been focusing more on doing studio vlogs here on youtube and she's one of the only studio vlogs that i actually watch like i said um jess makes studio vlogs and i love them but the one person that only does studio vlogs is bailey j she started off as doing regular schmegular art and doing a bunch of things that are very fun and, and quirky um, and now she d just shares her studio vlogs and she has a small business as well And she just shares the process and everything in her day-to-day -day life and it's so interesting to see She's also a very nice kind-hearted person. She's so like genuine and so quirky and funny and I don't know if you, if you don't know Bailey then I don't know what to tell you She's amazing and I definitely advise you to go check her out next up. We have Sara Tepes now I love Sarah. She is amazing. Like she, she does really, really beautiful portraits. I follow her um, also on Instagram, and I love, love her reels. She makes amazing portraits, um, but she like draws a lot of pretty girls. And she has a bunch of tutorials. She does digital art. She does traditional art. Um, she also has been making a lot of nice and informative videos lately about how she's growing her audience, how she like plans everything out like it's she is an amazing artist i love her art i love her she's so gentle and i love her voice for some reason like it's so nice she has some kitty cats which is also amazing i love them and uh yeah i just really like her content and i enjoy her content so so much it's wild next up we have also another artist that i've been following for years and it's been honestly a pleasure to see her grow and her skill grow so so much the past few years and it's drawing with waffles so this is rin um she goes by rin online and she is amazing like I love her art, she's very quirky, she creates really nice characters and she draws mainly in her sketchbook. But she does a lot of character creation and character design and all of that. And she opens up also a lot of uh, art supply boxes which I find really interesting and then she does the challenges which is very very interesting. Um, and I just really enjoy her art, I always have. She's a very quirky, fun person to watch. She's she's just amazing and I it's honestly I've been seeing her grow the past few years I've been following her before she hit 1 million now. She's at 2.6 and it's amazing to see her grow and to see her channel grow and I love her content going on to the next artist this one I found recently this artist is from Spain I think she mainly does videos in Spanish, but her art her art is mind-blowing she does portraiture mainly but in a very stylized way but the thing i like about her art is the colors she uses color like i have so much difficulty using color and she uses it like 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 it's just second nature to her um it's so amazing she adds colors and, and pinks and blues and purples and greens and she just adds a lot of colors to her sketches to her paintings to her finished pieces and it, it looks so nice and it's so natural and she's so 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 talented it's insane i honestly think she deserves a lot more attention um but every time i she doesn't have a lot of videos mind you but every time she does upload a video i watch it there is no questions asked in this i watch it and i've watched every single one of her videos and i genuinely enjoy her videos a lot and i wish i could have her skill and so i've I'm observing to also gather some, you know, some info on how to paint, how she paints, how to use color, how she uses, and it's really amazing. I really like her style, and I just want to learn more and more with her. Next up, we have Ally Ganuza. I think I'm saying her name correctly, but yeah. She is an amazing and talented artist. She does mainly stuff in oil paints, but also does digital. And the thing about her art is the way she uses color. So typically when we see oil painting, it's usually that very brownish, earthy toned paintings that everyone does, even in portraiture, it's always very earth toned and she does the exact opposite she uses neons and bright colors and a lot of colors she's another artist that i particularly love due to the way she uses color in her pieces and it again it's something i want to practice it's something i want to get to know better and she even has a lot but uh, like a bunch of tutorials on how to use color how to transform one shade that you see into a more colorful option um she teaches all of that even in her other social media she does teach you how to do all of that and i find that very very like 
inspirational and I really want to learn how to do that I've also been getting into oil painting even though I haven't tried it yet I'm still like trying to put the money together to buy some oil paints um but I I want to do oil painting like she does with colors and really bright tones and not go with the basic brownie shades that you usually see people using with oil paint so I think she's an amazing artist she's an amazing artist if you want to check out like if you want to learn about color if you want to learn about oil paints or even see her her paintings she does mainly still lifes and pet portraits um, which to be completely fair is not my like cup of tea i don't usually enjoy still lifes that much but she makes it so colorful and bright and vibrant it's just so interesting to think how did she turn this very simple day-to-day -day scene into something so colorful and bright and interesting so definitely check her out if you're into that type of thing next up we have a very very like well-known channel which is nerdforge now if you don't know who nerdforge are they are a channel where they create a lot of medieval inspired stuff magical everything medieval and magical that you could possibly imagine now a few examples of what they do in their channel are some dioramas you have uh, book covers, they do a lot of like old binding covers, those are very interesting. They build stuff, they do oil painting, um, they all very fantastical and magical and, and just medieval inspired stuff. And if that's your cup of tea, definitely check them out. Um, I know they've been around for so, so, so long, um, but I just recently found them. I think I found them late last year. Um, and I've been in love with everything they do. They create so many amazing and fantastical stuff. It's so, so impressive. And uh, yeah, I love their content. Next up, we have Tiffany Wang. Now, she is an amazing YouTuber and she does vlog style stuff, okay? She goes to a art university and she shares her time there. If I'm not mistaken, she goes to RISD and she shares her her time there the stuff she has to create for her classes all her projects and you see a little bit of everything you see her mess around with clay paper with book binding with creating sculptures with actually making pieces and drawing and everything and it's just a very interesting and different type of like vlog style that i really enjoy she shares a lot of it she shares how her finished pieces her projects how she does everything she's she even sometimes does makeup, she shares her portfolio, she gives tips and stuff to people who are just doing, this, uh, that are thinking about going to college and all of it. And it's just interesting to see like college life and university life um, when taking an art degree and it's very interesting. And she's also like an amazing girl, like she, I, I love watching her videos, I have them on all the time, I watch almost every single video she puts out. Um, and she's just very fun and she makes really cute little pink and bubbly and, and stuff It really is amazing. She has a very particular style of her own and I really like her style and enjoy it a lot Next up we have prickly alpaca now. She goes by Kira and her art oh, Her art is amazing. She creates mainly characters, but she's so impressive in how she creates she has such a nice um like style and she has she's so skilled in what she does i don't even know it's so part it's such a particular art style she creates a lot of different types of characters she's very creative in what she does and she's really fun to watch she also puts a lot of time and effort into her videos and that is very like observable and it's just I love, love her art and I definitely advise you to watch her. Her sketchbooks are amazing and her digital art is impeccable. I, I just really like her content and I think you'll like it too. If you're into a lot of character design and exploration and everything, she creates really long videos as well which is really nice if you want to have someone in the background just draw with someone it that is very nice and uh yeah she's definitely one of the artists that i advise you to check out next up we have new triple now she is an artist that has been that i've been following for a really long time and she creates comic book style or little comics um sharing 
tidbits of her life and um experiences that she's had but it's very cute it's very like demon and angels kind of themed and it's very interesting she has recently started sharing her experiences as a digital uh, animator and working for animation studios um and pros cons what you need portfolios everything it's very informative i really like her content and i really like her she's very like cute and direct and she tells things how they are which again is something i really enjoy she's also mainly explaining how she does her comics and you know stuff behind her comics I, I really like her style and um i think she has a very particular style no matter where i find her art it will always recognize as her art so i think if you're into that, if you're into the animation industry or you're trying to get into that or you're thinking about how will university be, definitely check out her videos. She's very informative and she like gives you a lot of advice and tips on what to do and how to go buy it and the reality of being an animator and what that entails in the real life. Like in the real world other than like our fantasy world or the fantasy world that universities sometimes create. So it's very interesting and very informative for sure. Next up we have Candy Jenny and or Candy Yanny. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, she is an artist. Now she, I think she's a German artist, but she's all over the place. And she has a very particular and colorful and creative style. She's very creative in the way that she makes her characters and paints and the colored choices that he, she has. But also, she does a lot of Japanese-inspired art and Asian-inspired art, and it's very interesting. Her girls, the girls that she draws, are very interesting. I, I don't, I don't know. Like her style is very particular, very colorful. Her content is very interesting as well. She does a little bit of everything. She does some painting, some sketchbook work. She talks about her art studio. She talks about art books. You know, I think she's also currently working on her portfolio to go to art school, and she's sharing the process and i think that's very like interesting and she shares her paintings they're very very beautiful and she has a very particular again this is an artist that has a very particular style that i recognize anywhere i'd go because she is very like it's just her very specific style next up we have a artist that i follow mainly on instagram but and i but 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 she has a youtube channel and she only has a like a handful of, of videos there but when every t but every time she posts i'm like this watching i'm 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 on top of it because her art is freaking fantastic she does gouache paintings um in her sketchbooks and they're usually of scenes and like of specific scenes or environments whatever you want to call it and it's always very magical and beautiful and just the tech her techniques her art is just awe-inspiring and if you've ever been on instagram and seen those videos where uh you see someone flipping through a book filled and filled with pages of of paintings of some gardens of like i don't know like it it's beautiful she she paints natural scenes and they look amazing amazing they're so amazing and i wanted to put her in this video because even though she doesn't post a lot or regularly i think it's one of the videos that i watch as soon as it drops i watch it because i want really want to see her process and understand how she creates what she creates and from beginning to end and i find it very interesting so that's why she's one of the ones that i decided to include in this video next up we have an oldie but a goodie i've been following this artist for so so long and it's safira lou now if you don't know who safira lou is she she's an artist that's been on youtube for a while and she creates really beautiful mixed media illustrations um, right now she is sharing more about her store and, and store updates and creating con creating products But I started following her because of her art like she creates really really beautiful intricate pieces in mixed media She uses markers water markers and watercolor in the same piece, which is very unique to her or at least like From what I know is she's one of the few artists that actually do that mix she then adds gouache and so much and her work is so detailed and beautiful she does a lot of also magical fantasy kind of things think D, &D and you'll kind of understand what the type of art she creates she has a series called the mushroom hunters it's a beautiful beautiful series and she has a, also a cat that calls that's called prickles from also that like um world and i just find her art very very beautiful very cute 
um, but also very detailed. She's always inspi inspired me in her detailing and her art is amazing. And she's also a very nice and sweet person and she's just so genuine and I love watching her content. So I definitely advise she's been on YouTube for a while, but I also think that she deserves a lot more recognition that she's than she's getting, to be honest. Finally, but definitely not least, trust me, she's definitely not least, we have Jacqueline De Leon. Now, I cannot explain to you how obsessed I've been with her art for years now. Now, she used to create a lot more content on YouTube. Now, recently, she makes more studio vlogs and it's usually like a monthly thing. Um, but her art is spectacular. She creates women and she does mainly women characters and they're all so intricate. I love the way she does their hair. I love how her poses are so like soft but beautiful and, and proportionate at the same time. I don't know how to explain it but I love her style and I've loved her style for so so long. Also she does an amazing work with, with watercolors and inks. Her sketchbooks are a thrill to watch and if she would just fucking share another sketchbook tour. She's the OG artist that I would wait for every single sketchbook tour drop possible. I love her sketchbook. I love how she sketches. I love her art and her her art style and it has inspired me so so much th throughout these last years wherein I started taking art more seriously. So she's definitely on the top of my artists that I love watching her content. I love seeing her stuff. It's kind of sad that she only posts once a month, but I guarantee you that I watch her content as soon as it comes out. So now this video is getting a bit long, but I do want to say thank you so much for watching. If you've held on till the end, please, please let me know any artists that you follow that I didn't mention that you think are worth mentioning that you really, really love in the comments down below. I'd love to find new artists and get to know a lot more art styles again i do want to stress out that these are my faves but again i follow so so many other artists that i love and i these are just the top ones for me and the ones that i've been watching more often recently i will also be leaving link down below every single artist i mentioned during this video so please go check them out give them some love give them a follow and uh yeah i hope you guys like their art as much as i do also remember they also have other social media, so if you want to follow them there, make sure to check it out. Without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I am on here on YouTube, but also on other social medias, and you can check them down below. I've recently started streaming on Twitch, so you can also find me on Twitch streaming every single week. If you like this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to see more content from me. <laughs> um, I will be seeing you guys next week for another video. Bye!